What's going on boys and girls? What's up world? Austin John plays here and today I want to talk about a brand new Zelda game for the Nintendo Switch. By the way, be sure to stay tuned to the end of the video for the giveaway we're doing for the Nintendo Switch. So for those of you who have the Nintendo Switch Entertainment System Nintendo Switch Online, there's a brand new game. Oh, we have to start at the saw. So oh, oh, hang on, hang on. We need to update. So let's go ahead and launch the Nintendo Entertainment System Nintendo Switch Online. And for those of you who don't know, this is something that's exclusive. If you have the online service, everyone should have the online service at this point. It's literally required to play the game. And you're going to see that there's something new to play. In addition to all the games that we've seen before. Oh, if you go up and highlight it, you actually get to see what it is. And Legend of Zelda SP. SP stands for special and it includes invaluable maps and strategic playing tips. As you probably knew, The Legend of Zelda already exists here in the online system and... Wow, that's... Okay, you're already in the game. That's pretty cool. So you're gonna notice something different is that you already have the upgraded sword. We have max rupees, nine keys, eight bombs. We already have... A whole bunch of items in the game. We have the bombs, we have some food, we have potions. Is the old man there? Nope, he's not here. Something I've also noticed is that we already have three additional heart pieces, which is pretty neat. I'm noticing that these enemies are dropping hearts a lot more often. Definitely noticing that. I think by far the most noticeable thing here for this version of the game is that it's it's a little bit more handholdy because the original Legend of Zelda gives you like no hints or anything. There's a whole bunch of areas that need to be bombed in order to explore and everything else. And this game just kind of has them open. Oh look, Great Fairy Fountain. That was easy. <laughs> yeah, like you normally have to have to burn this bush away, but it's just kind of here. It's a secret to everybody. Legend of Zelda SP from the Nintendo Entertainment System Online is sort of like a... <sighs> a handicap? Sort of a... In, it's an easier version of the game. Let's go with that. It's an easier version of the game. There's not as much guessing, there's not as much figuring out, which is more accessible for a younger audience. So say for example, you're a dad who played Breath of the Wild and you absolutely love it. You have a Switch, you have a young son or daughter with you and they're enjoying the game and you want them to be able to experience the original Legend of Zelda game without them being completely lost throughout the entire thing. This is, this is made for them. Now this is essentially a ROM hack. It's the ROM with a couple of cheat codes put in there for those of you who remember Game Genie. It's essentially that, where you're given a handicap at the beginning of the game, a lot of the secrets are unlocked, and it's an easier way to explore the game. I mean, there's a whole bunch of people watching this video right now who have the online service who have never played the original Legend of Zelda, maybe because it was too hard or whatever else, but this is a very accessible way to play the game. I feel like that they're going to be having a lot more SP games coming out, maybe for Metroid or Donkey Kong, some of the harder games out there. Harder. The most important thing to remember is, it's free. You get to play, it costs you zero dollars if you have the online service, which, by the way, let's not complain about the online service. Yeah, it sucks that now you have to actually pay to play online, but everyone else has been doing it for years. and. It's, it's by far the cheapest. It's $20 a year. What's Xbox Live? Isn't it like $8 a month? Something like that? It's like $48 for the year. So it's half, it's less than half the price of Xbox. That's just from what I'm seeing on CD key. It, it's what Google recommended. I don't know how much it actually is. I got the, the Xbox Live Gold that came with the Xbox. I bought an Xbox just to play the Fallout 76 beta early for the record. Uh, also, not doing Fallout 76 coverage on this channel. I'm going to be live streaming it on the Facebook page. If you don't know about the Facebook page, I do Facebook gaming over there. Fun time. 
But yeah, a brand new Legend of Zelda game. <laughs> a, br a brand new ROM hack of a Legend of Zelda game for completely for free. And you get to play it if you have the online service. Yeah, I want to know what you guys think about this. Is this creating too much of a handicap and makes it too easy? Or is that a good thing because it makes it more accessible for people who aren't familiar with the game? And guess what? If you don't like it... Boom. There's the original one. No reason to complain or anything else. It's right there. So you get your option to choose whichever you'd like and there's no harm, no foul. I think that's fantastic. I really do. Let me know what you think in the comment section down below. If you enjoyed the video, be sure to hit the like button. And if you really enjoyed it, be sure to subscribe to the channel. Turn on notifications. That way you get all these fantastic videos coming straight to your YouTube browsing su uh, suggested video experience. Until next time, Austin John out. As I previously mentioned, we are giving away a Nintendo Switch, or if you have a Switch, $300 of eShop credit and a copy of Pokemon Let's Go Pikachu or Eevee, or a copy of Smash Ultimate. That's right, all this is going to be going to one lucky winner. We're going to be drawing the winner a week before the release of Pokemon Let's Go Pikachu and Eevee. Entering is super simple. Step one, subscribe to the channel. Two, like the video. Three, leave a comment down below with your favorite Zelda game. And once you do all that, you can follow me on Twitter. That's where the winners are going to be announced. Until next time, Austin John out.